previously on my life as Jennifer V. Never take no for an answer. No matter what field you're in, go after your biggest dream. Do not settle. Do not allow people to tell you that you can't do anything you put your mind to. Just got home. It is 7.13 in the morning, I know. But I basically just organized my money. No, well, I actually counted it already, to be honest with you. And I thought I made more than what I did, to be honest with you. Because the whole entire shift, like the whole entire shift, from 10 to 6 a.m., literally I was booking rooms. Booking rooms. All of my rooms were matching the tip, besides one, I think. Yeah, my last room didn't match the tip, but he tipped me $100. But the math is not mathing right now. Like, I am I really thought that I made more than what I did. Like, and I'm kind of mad right now, to be honest. Like, I'm confused. Like, the math is just not mathing right now. And it's just like, what's going on? And now I'm thinking, like, did I leave my bag somewhere by accident? And maybe someone, like, went through my shit? But I'm just like, no, like, that's not me to leave my money bag somewhere. That's just not me. So I'm like, like, what? Like, I thought I made way more than what I just counted. But, like, I'm thinking and I'm like, no, like, it's not like me to leave my bag anywhere. Like, I always, always, always have my bag on me, like, for sure. Like, even if I, um, like sit them down in the private room and then run to the bar to drop off their credit card really fast i always have my bag with me in the bathroom in the rooms 
on the dance floor, everywhere. Literally, I always have my bag. So it's just like, what the heck? Am I really that off? Like, what? Because yesterday was, I mean, I'm sorry. Today was way more bussing, way, way more bussing than yesterday. And yesterday was popping, you know? So what is going on? Like, but I'm going to go ahead and do a money count for you guys. So let's get it. Okay, so we have well i have a lot of club cash also so my club cash has my whole club name on it so i'm not gonna show you guys but yeah and this is my singles pile right here i don't know how much this is and i'm not gonna sit here and count this so this looks like a hundred and then i have some fives 110 and then okay so we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 Five, six hundred, one, two, three, four, five, seven hundred, one, two, three, four, five, eight hundred, one, two, three, four, five, nine hundred, one, two, three, four, five. That's two thousand right here. Just in cash. Plus all of these singles. Plus that's two thousand and ten. Twenty. 25 35 so that's 2135 so far okay so this is 2135 just in cash plus my club cash which is 650 equals so my walking out with today on a saturday night after tipping everybody out after paying all of the room fees all of the private room fees all of the dance fees and everything like that this is my walking out 2785 that is actually a really good night but i just thought that i made like at least 3500 i don't know i don't know like i really really thought that but i mean nevertheless i'm super grateful i mean we almost hit 3k but thank the lord thank the lord for an amazing weekend like, it's literally all about your energy well it's not all about your energy but it kind of is you know like my energy was super super high like i was very peppy and friendly and social and talkative and charming and cute you know like you have to really it just depends on the customer like if they're like a little hood you know my hood side will come out you know and if they're like more business then my business ethic will come out and like i'll try to sound like a little bit more smarter um it just really depends on their vibe i go based off their vibe but you always want to be friendly and i basically asked all of them for tips like matching the room i always match the room as you guys know and for the most part all of my rooms like i said match the room you know it was definitely a super successful day and i'm super glad that it was because as you guys know like the past month has been pretty slow you know but y'all already know like my goal is 2000 per night every time i work so for me to make my goal or over my goal for yesterday and today is amazing, you know? So, you know, you just like got to really bust your ass and hustle. Like, like I mentioned earlier, my whole night was busy and I was hustling, like literally running back and forth, like back and forth. Like, and like all of the girls are telling me, like they noticed, they're like, okay, yes, I see you. I saw you yes boo boo like we gotta we gotta pote las pilas you know what i'm saying no. yummy yummy okay yeah, yes it's something like that no maybe i thought that i made way more than what i did because 
Um, one of the guys that had got an hour with me for 500, he matched the room for 500. So I got a thousand off him for that room. And then right after that hour, he booked the same room for an hour, which is another 500. And he tipped me another 500. So I made 2000 off of him. And then I booked hella more rooms, you know? So maybe that's why. But I got to remember myself that you don't get the full thing, you know, because you have to pay the club fees, like you have to pay like to use the room. You know? So basically he booked one hour for 500 and then he booked another hour for 500, but you don't get the full a thousand, you know, you get, I would have got 600, 300 from the first room and 300 from the second room because the club keeps 200 and we keep 300 from the 500 dollar room so that's why it's super important to always ask for a tip and then yeah but i'm super glad that he matched the room for both rooms you know he was like when i asked him again for the second room to like match the room he was like damn you a hustler <laughs> i was like i mean it's a different hour you know like you gotta show me some love <laughs> i did ask him what he did for a living because he asked me also is this like your full-time thing and i was like i mean i only work two days he's like out of how many i was like seven <laughs> but i mean like i tell you guys i don't tell the customers i do social media because then they're gonna say like oh okay what's your at name and i'm not trying to get into all that like you know but he was like um no and then i was like also what do you do for a living you know because i was kind of curious like because this man had money you know what i'm saying and then he was like um take a guess and i obviously guessed wrong but he was like i own well i'm not telling you guys all that but he was a businessman he owns his own business and it's a really good business actually so I was like, damn, that's what's up, you know? But yeah, it was a really good night, you guys. And we are going to deposit this in the morning. Well, it is morning, actually. It's 7.35 now on a Sunday, y'all. And now I don't know if I should work later today because it was so popping this weekend. But it's Sunday, so like you never know. Literally, Sundays are dry. But the last Sunday I worked, I made over two thousand, and I vlogged that. But which was not too long ago, actually. I think it was like a month and a half ago, because I really never work Sundays, because what, the, you know. But they said last Sunday they had like people there, and they only had like three or five girls and more customers than girls and i feel like if men come to the strip club on a sunday then you must really be in that mood and you're ready to spend some money you know because like i said we get a lot of businessmen sundays everyone is off and you know today was like kind of full of drama well not really full of drama but i got caught up on the drama you know as i was changing in the locker room because there was like hella drama yesterday and they were like telling me all about it and i was like what i am super happy and i am so grateful for such an amazing weekend and i hope that if you are a dancer and you watch my channel then i love you guys so bad but I wish that, well, I hope that you guys had an amazing weekend just like I did. And yeah, I really don't know what to say. I'm super tired right now. We had like a little meeting. That's why I'm kind of like here at my house all late. But I am so tired. I'm about to jump in the shower. I'm, well, I'm going to take these extensions out, girl, because <laughs> let me tell you. Look at how crusty they look. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Like, girl, this is real 
Indian hair. Stop playing on me. No, but that's the plan for right now. We're just going to take these extensions off and then go shower, brush my little teeth, and then... I'm super hungry, actually, so um, I had Jimmy John's earlier and I didn't finish it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to eat that. And then try to get a little nap because I do pick up my son later today and I want to be energized for him because that's my baby and that's the love of my life right there okay extensions are off I feel super crusty like once you get out of work after a long ass shift of being a dancer girl you feel so disgusting because you've been dancing all night like you've been sweating then the sweat dries up so you got dry sweat on you and then you re-sweat and then it dries up and then you re-sweat and it's just a mess y'all a mess and then your oil from your hair and like your skin and the makeup gross gross but I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this video in the morning when I wake up so you guys can come with me for this young deposit. But yeah, I'm going to shower, so. Hey guys, okay, so today's actually Wednesday and I'm editing the video, but I just came to stop by at Citibank. You guys already know I bank with Chase and I opened up a Chase savings account recently, but it's actually really bad to keep all of your savings and all of your money in one bank even though it's separate accounts checking and savings it's just unsafe because you guys never know so i am at Citibank right now and i am opening up a another savings account i am depositing what i made over the weekend and all together friday saturday and sunday i made five thousand dollars so that's where i'm at right now but let's get it